Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Welcome back also to generic intros for the next several videos, which is a nice improvement from the last few that haven't had any intros. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you're all staying safe and things are getting, getting kind of crazy right now. So I hope everyone's doing well and as best as we can. So uh, anyway, we're going to hop right into the video and I will be with you in a second. I was so excited. I was like, look at this pretty island, and of course immediately it tries to destroy me. Little baby! <laughs> look back at Jolie and Tanley. Wait, why? Why is why would Jolie be staring at me? I didn't do anything. And my name's not Revan, it's Bryn. My name is Bryn. I think these look like those first ones, uh, or whatever they're supposed to be. The precursors, predecessors, ancestors, whatever. That controlled the... The Starforge. But I don't know why I think that. Did we, like... Was there, like, an AI that looked like that? Is that why I'm thinking that? Like, did, did one of the Starforge... Like, the very first one on Dantooine, maybe? Did it have, like, an AI that looked like these guys? I'll remember. Okay, I think... Well, I think I'm, I am remembering... I'm remembering... Island... we. I'm remembering something. Look at that. That's the ship I was talking about. Our ship is tiny. Are those, like... Volcanoes, or is that like streaks of like uh, when you when you come into the atmosphere? A battered Footlocker. Thank you. I probably can't. Oh, I can. No. Oh, I can't. Oh wait, yes. Uh, nope. All right, there's the invisible wall. All right. You just, you just could have let me not walk in the water. That would be fine. The ship was in Rogue One. This one? Or at least the ship like it. It looks it looks a little familiar, but I thought that was just because, you know. Oh, yeah, it's like the, the battering ram one, right? Or no, I'm thinking, I'm actually thinking of um, The Last Jedi. That's like the battering ram ship, the hammerhead. Was that in Rogue One, or was that in, um, Last Jedi? Were frogs in Rogue One? Not these cutie little baby frogs, alas. Oh, hi. You guys probably have something I want. Oh, oh. Ow, 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 ow. Stop throwing smoke bombs at me. There's so many of them. Holy cow. Holy moly. This is what I live. That should kill most of you. Okay. All right. Jeez. Oh yeah, yeah, the one that crashed into the star destroyer to push it into the other star destroyer, which then broke the shield, the planetary shield. That's right. This is giving me major Dragon Age Two vibes. You know what I'm talking about on the beach in Dragon Age Two. I'm, I'm getting major Dragon Age 2 vibes here. I'm trying to see if this stupid thing will have anything for me, but apparently not. I'm gonna try to get to that ship that was over there. Look into the horizon. Whoa. Look into the horizon. <sighs> All I see is Candorous' eyes. Ugh. Horizon sucks! I'm going this way. Ooh, be be pillar. Ooh, a North Beach. I don't want to go to the North Beach yet. That's where the Mandalorians are. I don't. I don't want to go to where the Mandalorians are. Okay, I've got it on the map. <laughs> there, there. 
Dude, okay, so I have heard about, like, you say that, like, I remember you saying earlier that I could, I could end up replaying the remaster before I finish this game, but, like, is, is there, was it that Obsidian or somebody was, was, has it been confirmed that they're remaking Coder, or, or no, I can't remember now, I just remember hearing about the, like, um, the fairly more confirmation-y confirmation of, um, the Mass Effect remasters, which I would just die. I would just die. Whoa. Remaster or, I, I think it's a remaster. Maybe Coder would be a remake. But, um... Is this all there is? Oh no, there's like... I'm gonna go back to the Evan Hawk and go the other way. A strong rumor out of Disney suggested they wanted a remake. Okay, for Coder? So, for, yeah, for Coders, I think if they're gonna redo it, it would be a remake. Yeah, it would be a remake because they want to change some of the lore to fit in, yeah. Although, to be fair, I think they've been... They, they've kept pretty close to some of this stuff. I think. They're making a live action film of Atlantis. Really? What is it? Is this something? No. I like the, the cartoon. Like the one that I really, really liked and had that really cool princess and had that nerdy guy who wanted to find Atlantis. And then he did, but, like, it was actually really dark because, like, out of, like, 500 people who go to freaking find Atlantis, only, like, seven people survive. It's, it was dark. The animated film that sold terribly, but, te sold terribly, but loads of people, like, did I remember hearing that it, yeah, that it didn't do very well, like, commercially, but I freak yeah, like, I loved that movie growing up. I thought it was great. Was one of my faves. Like the scene where the ship comes out of the water, like through like the glass, when what's his name? Like sees it for the first time. I just always remember thinking that was so cool. Like really epic. And the animation style, like the art style, I really really liked. Like I thought, I always thought it was cool. You don't remember it much? You remember not liking it? Really? Yeah, I liked it a lot. It has, like, a cult following. It's kind of like, um... I think I am going to go talk to the Mandalorians first, actually. Since my main goal is to do the other things... Wait a second. Okay, there you are. I'm going to go talk to the Mandalorians. Her. You like the girl because she's hot? Yeah, no, she's really awesome. I liked her a lot. And like I always liked my one of my favorite characters was the girl who was an engineer. Um because she's like, yeah, my dad always wanted like a mechanic and a and a wrestling, like like a son who was into mechanics and like like wrestling. She's like So I became a world-class engineer and my sister's like, you know, the heavyweight champion, blah blah blah. And I just remember as a little girl being like, yeah, you know, like yeah, we can do whatever we freaking want. Take that. And their dad wasn't like, oh, I got girls. How lame. He was just like, oh, sweet. Let's let's do it a different way. Sort of, but kind of still the same. Oh, hey, you can talk. I mean, I don't know if I'm excited for a live action remake. Uh, I liked the animation, but it's whatever. Uh, we bring an invitation from the Great One to... The what are you talking about? Hold on a second. You understood these goggle-eyed freaks? You must have come to this planet and learned the language back before the Jedi messed up your mind. Whoa. Back when you were still Revan. Give you strange magic. Blah, blah, blah. Also, I'm the only one who can understand them. Okay, he wants to talk to me. Cool, cool. 
You like the leotards there? Fashion statement. The game wants me to read it. I don't want you. I know. I don't want to like read. Usually I read stuff like uh, like book text stuff, but I don't want to read over top of what they're saying because it's like too clashy in my in my mind. If it was an Andromeda, nobody would wonder how you can understand them. Listen, we have really good tech, okay? We have really good tech. I know, I think we do. Every cutscene should have a Giska jumping around. Who's the one? The one is the leader of our tribe. Feast on the flesh. Gross. Okay, fine. Let's go. Is it a Mandalorian? I'll scream. Oh no, it's a very tan colored one. A golden Rakatan. Revan! Ah, oh, you know me! Oh, what was the vow? Oh, uh, oh, frick. Uh. Uh. <laughs> Listen, listen. Hold up. Uh, I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, I'm not revving anymore. That part of me is gone. I'm Bryn Carr now. Uh, we're gonna get in trouble. Remind me of the bell? Why can't you slay them? Also, Revan's a big fat liar. Like Revan was a Sith, therefore you never trust anything that a Sith says. You're a fan of Trolley Star Wars fans. Uh, <laughs> you guys said that almost simultaneously. Lemon Z, Lemon Z, you gave him too much credit. You gave him too much credit. <laughs> he was so excited to say that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I did it oh, did you see it right after? Oh, okay. I thought maybe you guys had said it at like almost the same time. It was funny. Uh, my mind was destroyed. My memories were lost. Oh, wow. Are you force sensitive? The power of magic. Does, does a vow count if... The person gets their memory wiped? I don't think it does. What was his vow exactly? Oh. Did I never do that? I never entered the Temple of Ancients? How did we activate the Star Forge? Um, yeah, on my screen, too, it looked like you did it like a millisecond after she posted hers, and it was hilarious. The timing was hilarious. Persuade, lie. Uh, uh, well, I don't know. Temple of the... Uh, uh, but you have to answer my questions first. Thank you. You're being a very reasonable person. You're being a very reasonable sentient. Well, uh, possibly. Who are the elders and why? You should probably start the last time I was here. Three years ago, wow. And they, okay. They're trying to take you prisoner, but you unleash magic. 
They bow before you. Oh, I ripped the language from his mind, even as I drove basic into their skulls. Oh my gosh, I'm a monster. They could not help me. The answers are the Temple of Ancients. The elders guard them. You say my ship crashed. Was it because of the disruptor field? Now those are our tribe ships have fallen from the sky. In recent generations, it's more frequent. Oh, they can't fly. Dang. One day they want to unlock the secrets. Oh, that's how you got them. The loyal beasts of war. Okie dokie. Oh, good night, Larry. Thank it was so good to see you again. Thanks for coming by and hanging out. I will be able to cut stream again tomorrow. We'll see you later. I was very fake. Listen, just because I call Jennifer Hale's scream fake sounding doesn't mean you can say everything I do is fake sounding. <laughs> uh, I'll never help you against the elders. Ah, uh, tell me about the Temple of Ancients. <laughs> Secrets of our ancestors are contained within. Oh, I knew it. These people used to be like the rulers of the galaxy, I think. In a way to escape. Why didn't we destroy the elders? And how did we get off the planet? How did we get off the planet if we didn't discover the secrets of the ancients? Or, or did we somehow secretly find a way into the temple without their help, potentially? Tell me more about the elders. So, like, the, 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 the species has, like, separated into two groups, it seems like. Oh, dang. They tortured the elders. They fear the knowledge they themselves guard. I need to repair my ship. What? Well, then let us look at him. Yay! Oh, I mean, I do have to destroy... I have to destroy Red Desert Temple. We can get our ship repaired, but we're not going to be able to leave until we destroy this just disruptor field. Uh, I don't see any other choice, so I'll help you. Okay. Okay. Where's this information? Is it some kind of computer? So this computer was some kind of thinking machine. Interesting. How far they have fallen. There's a machine in the compound. Why do you think that? He raved of ancient rituals of lost power and forgotten secrets. A book, a tome that recorded the most powerful knowledge of the elders. Oh, that's like unleashing the Starforge, probably. Uh, well, I don't want to give you the power of the Starforge. I'll be back when I get that book. I'm a Jedi. I'm not supposed to lie. That's a very Sith-like thing to do. Okay, thanks. Thanks, buddy old pal. But that's the thing, right? It's like, okay, like I'm a Jedi and I'm like, sure, I'll kill some people and help you out. But my other option is to lie about it, which I guess you could say a Jedi... Well, you know, I watched part of the first prequel movie recently and the Jedi certainly lie a lot in that movie. <laughs> All for the greater good. Just tell it from a certain point of view. Well, that's my thing. It does, is I'm just like, you know, I'll tell you. I'll help you. I don't have to tell the game I'm lying, you know, but I'll do what I want, you know, for a while. You know, like, I'll, I, maybe I'll help you. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll go talk to the elders. I don't know. Maybe that's what Revan did before. Revan went and talked to the elders. Or 
Harley slaughtered them all and didn't tell the guy. Or she... See, I keep thinking Revan's this, like, separate person. Um, and it's like a he, because that's like the default, you know, and you're in a lot of people's brains, and it's one I'm still trying to get over, because the default is not male! Anyway. I, as Revan, she... I could open all of these, I think. Ooh, okay, let's see. Whoa, they give me so much stuff. I'm just gonna, they're not even selling it to me, they're just giving it to me. Construction kit? I don't, I don't know what any of this stuff does. I don't use any of it. Uh, thanks. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff. It is a separate person, to be fair. Yeah, well, I mean, it is a separate, like, identity, yeah, but... Maybe, maybe my, uh, maybe my Revan half, my, my Revan side was male. Maybe there's, we could do that. <laughs> But now I'm Bryn Carr, a woman, you know? Or maybe it's how Bryn could, like, um, separate the two in her head more easily by referring to Revan as male. Eh, uh, sensor probe, carbonite projector, but I'm looking for the freaking whatever I need. Try with the extra ship and gave Revan a sex change? Maybe! Oh, Wookiee Warblade, ooh. Oh my gosh. I am. Oh god, there's so many things. Maybe I need a construction kit to construct my ship back together again. Encoder 2, the canon character is female. Nice. Sith Tremorosaur, what's that? Rakatan Battle Wand. Quarter Staff, Medium Repeating Blaster. Mandalorian, Zabrak. Uh, Jedi, Mandalorian, but what? There's a free. Okay, there was a lot, but not what I needed. Uh, the canon they changed in relation to the events of Coder that were post Coder 1 and 2 were actively terrible. What? <laughs> What'd they change? Or, I guess, don't tell me since I haven't played Coder 2. I don't know. Alright, I didn't find any of the parts I needed. Thanks for nothing. What does this do? Does this open all the portcullises? What does it do? Oh, dang it. It's the cage lever, though. It did said specifically. <laughs> uh, okay. Interdasting. I definitely have the vibe that these guys have fallen far. Or, I mean, the original, original, um, bad, bad guys, they, um, they made a lot of slaves. So maybe they even made slaves out of some of their own race. And these guys are the descendants of those slaves who didn't know anything. And then the, the elders are the descendants of the non-slaves precursor race. And um, keep all the secrets for themselves. They have a bar? <laughs> oh, man. Give me your stuff. Nope. Do you guys say anything? You have the red ricotta. What? What? Can, oh, you want to leave? Interesting. I should be talking to these guys. Whoa. Oh, you're, you're very welcome. Very well. I will totally kill your hated enemy. We're going to finish this or what? What do you mean? Finish what? I'm, I'm looking around. I'm exploring this. I will probably end it soon, uh, to be honest, but this person's got a name. Yes, I did wield magic. I wield the forest, yes. 
Well, if you guys don't like it, why do you keep killing people? And how do none of them have the force? I'm not going to finish the game today. I'm probably going to finish streaming soon. I think you misunderstand what the force is. Force is a power. Natural energy that gifted people can use. It's a power that flows from all life in the universe. Yes. Um. It connects all living beings in the universe. This is like I'm a freaking missionary. It's really great. <coughs> Thank you. Oh, you misunderstand. Um, but no. Yeah, I mean, as far as I know, I still have a fair bit of the game to go. So, um, I think I will call it here. I have, uh... Oh, the canon genders of the game are decided post game. I see, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, maybe they, I think it just makes like a random choice, you know? Like they probably just like randomly decide like a canon. But you would think in the sequel you could like, you know, it would be like, oh yeah, Reverend was male or female, you know, not decided already, but. Yeah, I think I will call the stream for today. But thank you all so much for coming by. I, I super duper appreciate it. It was good to come back and stream again. Um, tomorrow we might be streaming some Soma again for a bit. Um, so prepare yourselves for that. But I can't believe we're kind of getting close to being done with Coder. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, no, thank you guys so much. Yeah, yeah, I was bummed about the archeology span being delayed. It was stressful, but it's worked out now, so hopefully all is good. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, I reread something. All right. Anyway, it was good to see you guys. I'll see you guys. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. It may or may not be kind of an awkward cutoff. Um, there was very limited editing. I guess that's important to say. I should have said that at the intro. There was very limited editing on these videos. So anyway, thank you all for putting up with me. I appreciate it. And I hope to see you in the next one.